Whoever invented the noise-canceling headphones was a genius, but why does it cancel out noise? Like my house is living right next to a highway, the sound of a car driving has high pressure and low pressure areas, and the pressure change between these areas creates a sound wave. When the sound waves travel to my ears, I hear this annoying noise. Once these noises are captured by the microphone of the noise-canceling headphones, the processing unit inside the headphones immediately starts analyzing them. It then generates low pressure in the high pressure areas of the noise and high pressure in the low pressure areas, mixing this opposite sound wave with the music played by the headphones. When they meet, they cancel each other out, thus greatly reducing the noise in the environment. This operation needs to be perfectly synchronized and an error of even a few milliseconds can cause noise reduction to fail. As a result, it places extremely high demands on the processing performance of the headphones. Another thing to note is that a noise-canceling headphone does not cancel all sounds. It is good for low-frequency noise, but the frequency range of human speech is wide and complex. Noise-canceling headphones do not play a good effect on the human voice. There are also very high-intensity sounds like explosions, which are far beyond the range of normal environmental noise, so the noise reduction effect is also very limited.